Nikki Haley picked the title, she has a few. On Saturday, June 24th, she tweeted this. Do you remember when you were growing up? Do you remember how simple life was, how easy it felt? It was about faith, family, and country. We have we we can have that again. But to do that, we must vote Joe Biden out. Now, on the surface, one would think, oh, she is remembering her past experiences. And we can't necessarily argue with other folks and they past experience. Maybe she was having fond memories about the beautiful childhood that she had and the beautiful community and neighborhoods she lived in, how enriching all of that was for her. Because for her, that may have been the case. Well, had she just stayed there? That would have been okay, but then she went on about a simple life, how it felt, faith, family, and country. Which again, if that was her upbringing, then that's fine, but it was not the upbringing for everybody. But then she went on into the political side of this. She took us there, we can have that again, but we gotta get rid of Joe Biden. Now, of course, her tweet was met with a whole bunch of pushback as well it should have been. David Hogue, March for Our Lives, one of the March for Our Lives co-founder tweeted this. I remember that until a gun, I remember that until a gunman murdered 17 of my classmates and administrators because of the failed policies of your party. What a way to put her, put her, put her in her place, David. And in this beauty coming from journalist and publicist Dave Jordan calling her out on her revisionist history. This you sure is. It's the book jacket of your memoir, which references the racism prejudice you faced growing up in South Carolina. Your father was hired to teach at at a black college. He couldn't get a job elsewhere because of his race, but enjoy your revisionist history. And there it is folks right there in black and white. David coming, Dave Jordan rather coming in with the receipts. And the ultimate, ultimate mic drop came from Dr. Bernice King. Put the point in there all the way. Well, this happened when I was five years old at Nikki Haley. I recommend you listen to my father's speech, The Other America. And I recommend everybody listens to that speech as well. And the picture that you are looking at right now is the picture that Dr. Bernice King tweeted of her and her mother at her father's funeral. We all know that Dr. King was assassinated on April 4th, 1968 in Memphis, Tennessee. The thing that always kills me about how like Republicans will talk about whatever Democrats in office is typically like this. And there's somewhat of a difference. Like Democrats usually point out to what the president has done. But Republicans will say stuff like, remember the time before two years ago when this guy was in office? You know what I'm saying? Like, like the times were drastically different 24 months ago. Um, and even if you take out uh, the past, you know, I mean, let's talk about how in 1967 that was the last lobotomy surgery that was legally done. There's all types of real issues, even outside of racial discriminatory uh, problems that this country faces. But also, uh, we have a lot of issues right now. So, you know, before Joe Biden was in office, inflation was bad. People couldn't afford uh, their rent. People couldn't afford their mortgage. You know, these types of things really aren't new. So it's really uh, hollow and it's just goofy, you know, like the, the magical time before 24 months ago when this guy got <laughs> I'm saying so. That's just all. Yeah, there was no magical time and 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 Dr. Bernice King was letting her know that you are delusional. This is this was what was happening in my life before that time. Simple days. We're not always so simple for a lot of people, but especially African Americans in the 60s. 